hey, restaurant owners, managers, are you seeing your profitability disappear because of one change that's happening all across the nation? Rising minimum wages from 10, 12, $15, and $15 is coming. How can we overcome this incredible increase to our, our labor and survive? I'm gonna share that with you in about two seconds. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I speak all over North America, primarily US, coast to coast. And when you say coast to coast, we've got New York and California going to $15 minimum wage, right? In process, happening right now. We've got restaurants all across the country who are seeing their bottom lines disappear because their labor costs are going through the roof. Now, how do we overcome that? Well, the first reaction is let's control our labor. Now, don't get me wrong. Every restaurant has the ability to control their labor. We've got systems in place for that from the labor allotment, telling your managers how many hours and dollars they have, writing your schedule, comparing them, and seeing I'm 14 hours over in the kitchen. And without freaking out like I gotta lose two people, I sit there and go, what if I brought four cooks in 15 minutes later in the AM, four, four 15 minutes later in the PM? Oh, that's two hours a day times seven days a week, 14 hours. I didn't affect anybody's life, right? We have the right numbers. We can make those decisions. But I'm here to tell you, no matter all the decisions you make, even if we look at efficiencies, there's not enough labor controls in this world to overcome $15 minimum wage. What you've got to be doing is looking at your menus. Many of us in the restaurant industry are going to have to change our menus, go to Scratch Kitchens, which is amazing. Because by going to Scratch Kitchen, we use less expensive ingredients that happen to be better because they're seasonal, right? They're in season, they're least, least expensive because they're abundant, they taste the best, and all of a sudden I reduce my food cost, but I can even sell it for more because it is artisan, if you will, right? So really, really important. Well, it means you have to attack your cost of goods sold. You gotta look at your drinks, you gotta look at your food, you gotta do these things. And it's understanding one concept, if you're new to me, I'm gonna share with you a concept called prime cost. If you've been with me for years, whether as a member or floating around my YouTube channel, you should know this by now. Prime cost, what is it? It's your total cost of goods sold plus your total labor costs, including taxes, benefits, insurance, and management, right? Old timers like me, controllable expenses. In the control of management day to day, how I hire, fire, train, utilize my people, purchase product, utilize that product, it's in control of management on a day-to-day -day basis. Controllable expenses, now we call it prime cost. Well, it's the number one number you must know to have any chance of making money. So when we talk about minimum wage going through the roof, you've got any different scenario you can come up with based on your business, not on industry averages. Based on the style of service you have, the product you buy, the quality of it, your price point, right? All these different things and your core values. And we're never gonna change who you are and your core values. But you could have a restaurant that runs a cost of goods sold of 30% and 25% labor cost. That's 55. I could flip it at 20% uh, cost of goods sold and a 35% labor cost. That's, that's 55. I could run a steakhouse at a 40% food cost and a 15% labor cost. That's 55 because that's the number I want you to hit. If you do $850,000 a year in gross sales a year, your new prime cost target is, ain't the old standard of 65. It's 55%. 55. If you want to have a chance of making money, you need to hit 55. Oh, by the way, as your sales go up, that number drops. We have members that have been in the high 30s. Now, granted, they do $10 million in sales and the customer's managing their efficiencies, but the bottom line is you can hit it, you can make the changes. What you've got to understand is as your labor cost goes up, you got to drive your cost of goods sold down. Look, if you need help with that, give us a call, toll free, one 877 457-6278, dial extension 106, ask for Greg Sauerbach, our solutions coach. He'll be happy to help. This is David Scott Peters. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe now to my YouTube channel. But before you go, download my free report. You'll find the link below in the description section. And be sure not to miss these other videos with expert tips to help you run your restaurant.